there's stuff on Tubi that you'll you won't find anywhere else. Um, yeah, that's wild, for sure. Yeah, I mean, there's yeah. there's wild stuff on it. There's old stuff that you can't find <laughs> anywhere else. And you know, uh, I was a wasn't a big fan starting to be. I was like, I don't want to watch commercials. I've got all these other streaming services, and I'm like. I don't care. I kind of miss it in a way, you know, and it's like, you know, it's 30 seconds long and gives you a little break. And plus you can, find well, I'm with you 100%. And here's why I'm with you when it comes to those commercials, because those commercials pay independent filmmakers. Exactly. Yeah. Right. I mean, that's why Tubi pays about double what some of these international conglomerates pay like Amazon. Oh, more than double. I'd say, uh, yeah, right. I was going to say that it's yeah. more than double. <laughs> well, well, we'll put it in perspective. We, um, and, and this is not a slight to them. This is just how it works. So Cineverse, which owns Screenbox, um, mm -hmm. is probably the second highest contributor to our revenue from chess. Mm -hmm. And, um, we were, so we were, we got on Screenbox, I think August of last year. And for an entire month, we're in the top 10 movies on screen box. So we were up there with Ty terrifier two, I think it's yeah. come out. And so I think we made it up as high as three, but we stayed within that top 10 for an entire month. So I was telling Aaron, I was like, Hey man, I'm excited. You know, I think we're going to get, a, you know, we're going to get <laughs> yeah, that yeah. check after this. And Aaron's like, don't get your hopes up. You know? And I'm like, you're just being a pessimist. Let's look at it. He goes, no, nah, right. he's a dude. I don't, I don't think it's going. And he was right. Like, uh, it did not turn into a check. It turned into tiny checks, but uh, yeah, it's weird how that works. And I think over the next few years, we'll probably see more transparency with that, whether it has to be intervention from other agencies doing that. I mean, with the strike and everything that had come out, I think it opens up a door for right. a lot of people to start questioning things. The only service that it's on that I know we can count views is it's on YouTube for mm -hmm. the, uh, the stash channel, their stash mm -hmm. chills and thrills or something like that. Yeah. Uh, I checked it the other day and it was 76,000 views and that's up nice. from 13,000 views. The last time I checked it back in January. So, you know, yeah. Nick, what you were saying about, or I don't know which one of you guys said about the, you know, Blair rich project coming out and you know, giving a, a new life. Hopefully for us that does that, but yeah, these, what I've learned, I, I wasn't a found footage huge super fan before we got into chess. I love Blair Witch Project, just like everybody else. I was buying into it. I, I, I graduated high school in 99, so this was coming out. I was a senior in high school. Everybody was there. Kids throwing up in the aisles because they don't like the shaky cam. <laughs> yeah. um, you know, it obviously inspired Aaron in a lot of ways with chess, and I think that that did create this new movement of how to make, you can make movies a, a different way, you know, with paranormal activity. Uh, when it came out, it surpassed Blair Witch Project for the budget compared yep. to profit of all time. Yep, they made the go. movie for like 15 grand and made millions and millions of dollars. So I think people I think saw hundreds that. Of millions. Yes, yeah. so people saw that and got excited. So like eight sequels. And yeah, what I've learned is, you know, this, this community, <laughs> this found footage community is loyal and they are, they are defensive and they will tell you in a heartbeat if you, because Aaron gets a lot of shit about putting a score to the stuff and oh, they're <laughs> putting music to the, they could be relentless. And but... it was just like, this is not a, you don't put a score to this, but yeah. there is a big community out there. Found footage fans that love, love these things. They love to hate them too, but they, at least they're watching them. Yeah. And I think they're watching them. That's the key. They're watching them. <laughs> exactly. It's like, it's like, I, I, I read comments all the time. There's like Facebook groups and discord channels for found footage and, Somebody will watch chess and they'll be like, this was like, they just talk shit about it. And, and I'm just like, thanks for watching. You know, like, the, yeah, I, I, don't I really, love it. Like, so I'm much. not going to go back and fix it. You know, like, I, I love <laughs> going on letterbox. Like it's, it's a daily. I was just going to say, you guys have a ton of reviews on letterbox. Oh, it's, a lot of good ones too. Oh yeah. No, I love them all. Like, because I think it was easy when MWA started getting their records smashed and you know, like they, they mm -hmm. had the, especially with the movie straight out of company, you can see, uh, when they're driving by on their bus and they've got like a, uh, like some road equipment out there and they're s smashing their CDs and they're like, Oh man, you know, everybody's mad. And he was just smiling. They're like, oh, he goes, well, somebody's buying them shits. Like it's yep. yeah. <laughs> somebody is. And as long as they're watching it, I don't care what they say. And yeah. the reviews and here's the, are here's the thing, so that entertaining. Community, they're, they're watching it all the way through too. Like that's right. the key. They're not turning it off. They're right. literally, they could hate it from beginning to end, but they're voracious. And that's what's great about what you guys are doing. Thank you.